Good afternoon, participants in the meeting of the Enforcement Committee of the World Customs Organization. My name is Catherine Garforth. I am the legal officer with the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety of the Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity. I wanted to express my sincere thanks to the World Customs Organization for this opportunity to speak to you today. We are very appreciative of our partners in the Green Customs Initiative, which includes the WCO. The initiative provides us with the opportunity to share information about the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety and the transboundary movement of living modified organisms with a wider audience than we would be able to reach on our own. My apologies that we are unable to be there in person to deliver the presentation. Through the wonders of technology though, we have developed a short video that describes the biosafety protocol and its link to the work of customs officers. I hope that the information will be useful and informative. I must also thank my colleagues Giovanni Ferraiolo, who helped put this presentation together, and Andrew Bowers, whose voice you will hear in the narration. We'll begin with an introduction to the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety and then discuss its provisions related to the work of customs officers. Finally, we'll look at the LMO Quick Links as a tool for the identification of living modified organisms. The Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety is an agreement under the Convention on Biological Diversity of the United Nations. The protocol was adopted in January 2000 and it entered into force on 11 September 2003. There are currently 160 parties to the Biosafety Protocol, 159 countries plus the European Union. Article 1 sets out the objective of the protocol. In accordance with the precautionary approach contained in Principle 15 of the Rio Declaration on Environment and Development, the objective of this protocol is to contribute to ensuring an adequate level of protection in the field of the safe transfer, handling and use of living modified organisms resulting from modern biotechnology that may have adverse effects on the conservation and sustainable use of biological diversity, taking also into account risks to human health and specifically focusing on transboundary movements. There are a few things to note from this objective that are key to understanding the biosafety protocol. First, the protocol deals with living modified organisms rather than the more commonly used term genetically modified organisms. This is because the protocol's focus is environmental protection and it is thus concerned with organisms that could enter the environment and harm biological diversity. Secondly, the protocol focuses specifically on transboundary movements of living modified organisms, thus its link to trade and customs officials. In this regard, Article 18 of the Biosafety Protocol concerns the handling, transport, packaging and identification of living modified organisms. It obliges parties to take necessary measures to require that living modified organisms that are subject to intentional transboundary movement are handled, packaged, and transported under conditions of safety. Article 18 and subsequent decisions by the governing body of the protocol also specify information to be included in documentation that accompanies living modified organisms for identification purposes. Accordingly, in order to identify living modified organisms, the documentation accompanying their transboundary movement should include, among other information, the names of the organisms, the intended use of the organism for direct use as food, feed, or for processing, for contained use, or for intentional introduction into the environment, their unique identifiers, an alphanumeric code assigned by developers to the different varieties of living modified plants they develop and that are approved for commercial use, and information on how to access the biosafety clearinghouse. Customs officers have a role to play in inspecting the documentation accompanying living modified organisms. They need to verify that the documentation corresponds to the actual goods in the shipment, check whether their country has approved or not disallowed the import of living modified organism as appropriate, and ensure that the documentation is complete and meets the applicable identification requirements specified in the protocol and the domestic law. The Secretariat has developed the LMO Quick Links tool to assist in the identification of living modified organisms in documentation accompanying their transboundary movement. LMO Quick Links are also intended to facilitate the work of customs officers by providing clear identification of living modified organisms 
and easy access to the biosafety clearinghouse where customs officers can view the decision of their country on the import of the organism as appropriate. The LMO Quick Links are small image files that can be easily included in documentation accompanying living modified organisms for the purpose of providing information on a specific living modified organism. The LMO Quick Links identify a living modified organism through the organism's unique identifier, trade name, and a link to the online biosafety clearinghouse where more information on the LMO is available. The page of the biosafety clearinghouse on the specific living modified organism can be easily accessed by either scanning the barcode or by typing the URL in a web browser. To use the barcode in the LMO Quick Link, you will need a barcode reader linked to a computer with an internet connection. Ensure the cursor is in the address bar of your web browser, then scan the barcode and you will be taken to the page of the Biosafety Clearinghouse on the Living Modified Organism. By accessing the Biosafety Clearinghouse page on the LMO, customs officers and other border control officials can see what decisions their country has taken regarding that LMO. In this example, we can see that China has approved the import of MON 810, yield guard maize, for direct use as food or feed, or for processing with no conditions. While inclusion of identification information in documentation accompanying living modified organisms is required by the biosafety protocol, the use of LMO quick links to meet this requirement is not obligatory. The governing body of the protocol has adopted a decision in which it invites parties, other governments, and relevant organizations to use the LMO, Quick Links, when making reference to a living modified organism. It will be up to shippers to decide whether they wish to use LMO Quick Links or countries to mandate their use. The LMO Quick Links were launched in September 2010, and since then, the Secretariat has been raising awareness of their availability. They are available from the Resources section of the Biosafety Clearinghouse at the link below. Thank you for your attention. Please don't hesitate to contact me via the contact information on the screen.